We have one last game to talk about today. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today, we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Mario isn't too happy about Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. And Cappy, his new friend from the Cap Kingdom, has a mission of his own to rescue his sister, Tiara. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. Somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe and make good use of Cappy's skills, especially the new Capture ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. This globetrotting adventure will take them all over the place. New Donk City in the Metro Kingdom, Toast Arena in the Sand Kingdom. Mount Volbono in the Luncheon Kingdom. Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom. Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom. Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom. And today, for the first time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice-cold realm will chill you to the core. Now, take a look at Bubba Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous, crystal-clear waters. Apparently, the seawater has a refreshing fizz, like it's carbonated. But we won't spoil them all. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. To get from place to place, Mario is literally traveling in style. Aboard his cap-shaped ship, the Odyssey, it runs on power moons scattered across the world. By collecting them, you can power up the Odyssey and make it to the next kingdom. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom, But as you can see in this list, there are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. I mean, some of these things are really hidden. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. They're hiding everywhere, so make sure to explore every corner of the world using every move at your disposal. If you collect them all, something neat may happen. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. You could also give a few coins to the hint toad, or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a power moon's location on the map. If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Globetrotting does have its benefits. You may find places to play minigames like Koopa Free Running or a Jump Rope Challenge. You'll earn power moons based on your results. And you can check out the scores and times of other players the world over if you're connected online. Also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy Cap. There, you can obtain outfits and other stuff with the coins you've collected. Then customize Mario's look. Some outfits are thematically tied to the kingdom you're in, or to a game from Mario's storied past. So don't be afraid to play a little dress up just to suit your mood. Match your surroundings, or just because. And don't forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cap.
there are just so many excuses for a quick photo op. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment, snap some fun photos of Mario, and go for a close-up. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes, you name it. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You could post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. For many, Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. We've taken great care in creating these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements, alongside a wide world of things you've never done before. Even the song that's playing right now is a Mario series first, thanks to its lyrics sung by the one and only Pauline. I hope you're ready for more surprising new ideas. Super Mario Odyssey, landing on Nintendo Switch October 27th. These wedding style amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure, and all other amiibo are supported. Alongside the game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle including the Super Mario Odyssey software and the themed Joy-Con you see here, along with a carrying case. We'll continue to release more new information on the official site of Super Mario Odyssey and on Twitter as we await Mario's next great journey. That's it for me and from today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.